Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate here. It's been a while, it's been a month actually, since I've put a video out. I've got more hair on my face. I've got a little bit more hair on my head. I'm not going to go into the details of why I haven't been online, why I haven't been driving, but we have just been notified by the government. They passed the $1.9 trillion relief bill, which a tiny, tiny portion of it is going to us folks. The rest of it's going to corporations and states and, you know, pork spending and all that kind of stuff. But if you are going to get a stimulus check, and it's likely that if you're doing DoorDash or Uber Eats or some other kind of uh, gig work, you are probably getting one of these stimulus checks. So I want to share with you five things that you should do with your stimulus check. The first thing that you need to do with your stimulus check, this is an option, is save it. Put it away. If you're single and you're only getting the individual $1,400, I am going to highly suggest, especially if you are a gig worker and this is your full-time your full -time gig worker, that you take that $1,400, you put it in the bank, and you don't touch it. You save that money for a rainy day. You save it for when the water pump goes out on your car, when you're going to need new tires, when you get in an accident and you have to pay your $1,000 deductible, whatever the case may be, you need to take that $1,400 and put it away, put it aside so that you have money put aside in the event of emergency. Whether it's you, you're unable to work because your vehicle is damaged, whether you're unable to work because you have a health issue, COVID, hello, whatever the reason, put that money in the bank. The second thing, that you should do, and this is especially if you are a full-time driver, is finally get those repairs made that you've been putting off. Your vehicle is your number one investment as a gig economy worker. And if you've got some things that maybe you need to get repaired, you know you need tires, you know you need brakes, uh, you know you need a water pump, whatever the case may be, uh, Use that money and get your car repaired. The third thing that you should do with your stimulus check is maybe you are a family man, family woman, family person. You've got a family and you are going to be getting multiples of $1,400. Now, you're probably going to want to discuss this with your significant other first. But if you're getting five, dollars $6,000, now might be the time to buy that new car, that newer car, that vehicle that you've been wanting to upgrade to. Maybe you've got a vehicle and you're doing rideshare and it's going. this is the last year you can use it for rideshare. Now would be a good time to use that money or some of that money to get a new vehicle. The fourth thing you might want to consider doing is investing that money in yourself. Gig economy, it's going to change over the next three to five years. It may be that in this next year, you're not able to earn enough. So when I say invest, take some online courses, learn another trade, learn something else that you can do besides being a gig economy worker. Maybe you learn how to do videography, learn how to edit web pages, learn how to edit uh, graphics, take a class on social media and managing social media accounts. Find something else that you can invest your time into so that you can learn a new skill. And finally, number five, if you don't need the money, if you've got money saved or whatever, if you're in a situation uh, where you're in a side hustle, maybe you've got a situation where you don't this money is kind of coming. You're like, what, what should I do with this? You might be tempted to uh, donate it to a charity or something like that. And that's great. But my suggestion would be to spend it on a local business. The point of these checks is to stimulate the economy. So it's to send money to us so that we go and buy things at local retailers 
so that they can stay in business. So if there's a coffee shop or a burger joint, someplace local that you really like to go to, take some of that money and spend it there and then figure out of the other four things that I mentioned, what you want to do with that remaining money. Spending $1,400 uh, is a lot of money to spend locally. Maybe you can find a way to spend $1,400 locally. That would be great. But of those five things, I think this is kind of, depending on what you're doing, all of the things except for number one uh, will benefit the local economy. So let's run through that list again. Number one is save it, put it in the bank. Keep it for a rainy day when you have a health issue, when you have um, a, a problem with your vehicle. Put it aside for a rainy day. Don't even think about it. Don't touch it. Number two, pay for those repairs or maintenance that you've been putting off on your car. It's very, very important that you keep your car running. It's your biggest investment. Number three, speaking of vehicles, maybe you want to use that money to purchase a new vehicle. That would be also a really cool thing to be able to do. The fourth thing, invest it in yourself. Learn another skill. It's going to be so important to you in the upcoming economy. As things change, it's going to be really important that you have some other skills besides just doing gig work. And finally, number five, spend your money at local businesses. Now, I'm not talking about your local Walmart or your local McDonald's. I'm talking about that mom and pop bookstore, that mom and pop restaurant, that mom and pop uh, boutique. Spend it with them. They will appreciate your business. My name is John from Ride Up State. Remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.